Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Firefox version 117 is now busy rolling out and started rolling out about 35 minutes or so ago today on the 29th of August 2023. Now version 117, which is now the latest release, includes three new official features. We get a fix, various security fixes that also roll out with every major version upgrade. We get a change and we also get some enterprise developer and web platform improvements. Now, first of all, focusing on the uh, three official new features that have been made available. First of all, support for credit card autofill has been extended into five new regions. So if you are running Firefox in the RT, ES, AT, BE, and PL locations, then support for credit card autofill has now been extended into those regions. Now, macOS users can now control the tabability of controls and links via About Preferences with this new setting, which says use the tab key to move focus between form controls and links. So if you are using Firefox on macOS, um, that's a nice move for you guys in the right direction, as I would say. Now, the third new official fix is what Mozilla is saying to avoid undesirable outcomes on sites which specify their own behavior when pressing shift and right-clicking with your mouse. There is a new preference that improves accessibility on sites that display their own context menu when users press shift and then right-click on your mouse. So those are the three new official features. And then the next feature is not an official default feature but it can be enabled using an experimental flag in about config and i actually posted on this yesterday where um native translate in firefox um is going to start rolling out in version 117 although not officially and native translation should be made available as a default feature in our next version upgrade to firefox version 118 which will be rolling out next month now I did post yesterday, as mentioned, on how to enable native translate in Firefox, and I'll leave a link down below to that video if you'd like to go check out how to uh, enable the translation feature. But just to give you a quick recap, now this is not a default feature in version 117, and I have already uh, enabled the flag. But uh, um, just to give you a general idea, as many of you will know, currently if you want to translate web pages, you need to install extensions in Firefox. And as an example, if I'll just head over to Wikipedia where I can just pull up a foreign language uh, web page, you can see the translate is now available if you enable that flag as mentioned, which I posted on yesterday. So you can translate this page. It's still in beta. Uh, you can translate from those languages to those languages. And if you click on the gear icon, this will take you directly over to the settings where you also get other um, preferences, always translate never translate, never translate the site. And then you can manage your languages, which as mentioned, takes you over to the settings. And yeah, you can actually download um, offline language packs to use in the in the um, translation feature, which I think is a nice move. So um, go check that other video out. It'll give you a lot more info. But as mentioned, that is now an unofficial new feature in Firefox version 117, native translation in the browser. Now, moving on to the fix, um, this is regarding YouTube video lists. With Mozilla saying, YouTube video lists now scroll correctly when navigating with a screen reader. So if you are using a screen reader and scrolling through YouTube video lists, um, those should now be working as expected according to Mozilla. Now, there is um, one change where Firefox no longer shows its own screen sharing indicator on Wayland desktop environments. So those are basically in server environments. The system default sharing indicator will be used instead. So just take note of that if you do find yourself in one of those environments. Now, because we are dealing with important security fixes that have also been made available, uh, to double check that your browser is up to date, we head up to our main menu as always, click on help, click on about Firefox and latest version and build version 117.0. Now, if we click on what's new, this will take us over quickly to the release notes just to get to those various security fixes. And there are 13 security fixes um, that have been made available to patch 13 vulnerabilities. And out of those 13 vulnerabilities, most of those are high risk, which is the second highest vulnerability that's been fixed after a critical 
And there are seven high-risk vulnerabilities. So the majority, as mentioned, are high-risk. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling up and down, um, those are the different vulnerabilities that have been addressed with version 117. And Firefox and Mozilla are known to push out quite a few security fixes with every major version upgrade. And version 117 is no exception. So even if you're not interested in little updates and new features, just double check that your browser is up to date because it is your first line of defense. So those are the security vulnerabilities fixed in Firefox version 117. And over and above, as mentioned, uh, those developer and web platform improvements which to your average home user will not really be of interest and um, that's more or less what's new in firefox version 117 and version 118 which will be our next release will be rolling out next month late next month on the 26th of, of september 2023 so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one